Hey there Aquarius, uh, welcome to your reading for the month of December 2016. Uh, this month, um, people have been writing me, asking me what's going on with the comments and uh, videos not showing up on the front page. I don't know. So uh, that's what I've been saying to everybody. I have no clue what's going on. Um, for some reason, uh, some videos aren't showing up on the front page and also comments are not even um, uh, posting or anything like that. Um, like I said, as many of you know, I don't police the comments. I, you know, I barely, um, you know, I never remove comments or anything like that. There's tons of negative comments on this channel. So, you know, like I, like I said, I have no clue what's going on there. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. Uh, also this month, please um, definitely check out AstroJar.com. One of your fellow Aquarius uh, people was posted up there today so definitely uh, check her out um, but let's see what's going on for you start off with the seven of diamonds card of worrying about money not needing to worry about money and things like that so definitely let your money fears go uh, a lot of old fears coming up i would say uh, you have the nine of spades and the seven of spades also coming up this month uh, these cards aren't necessarily bad because they represent stuff from the past and they represent stuff that again doesn't even exist anymore so let those fears go next you have the two of hearts great card for love and uh, especially if you're in a relationship it means that your love is deepening and things are getting better for you there it can also represent um, more love being available to you, which is nice. And uh, if you don't have a relationship, it can represent meeting somebody uh, who is kind of really perfect for you this month. So that could be nice as well. Uh, and if you're not interested in love, it's a, just a great card for family, even if you are. I mean, it's just a great card for family, meeting up with family, um, spending time with family or friends even. Or even uh, it's a great card for matching up with something perfectly, like a new job or a new business or something that also makes you really happy. Again, it's a card of happiness and being really happy this month. Uh, having said that, you do have the Nine of Spades, which is a card of... Um, Thinking about past disappointments and having past disappointments kind of, um, you know, having those things come up, I would say probably due to the retrograde, you're probably just thinking about these things because of the Mercury retrograde towards, you know, the middle of this month that go comes in. Um, so you could just be thinking about that. Let those things go. Uh, same thing, Seven of Spades. Let those past fears and things go. The actual good news about the Seven of Spades is it does represent you moving past something, breaking away from some sort of difficulty, um, and you know moving past some sort of like some sort of issue or something so again it does represent the fact that you probably are um, going to be moving past some of these difficulties and things next you have a great card five of clubs you have two fives here uh, five of clubs is a great card for travel great card for going on adventures and a great card for taking risks as well uh, and um, you know so it's just a great card for all of those things it can make us feel a little bit restless like it can make us feel like we want something that we can't have yet or you know uh, something along those lines but um, it's still a good card because it does say that we are um, getting some things that we want this month things are kind of going a little bit more like in, in, in directions we want them this is also a great card for uh, meeting new people making new friends just in general meeting up with new people especially uh, also if you're in business it's a great card for kind of meeting new people there it's also the card of renovation so a lot of you could be making literal renovations to your house or you could be also um making renovations to um you know like yourself like cha making changes in yourself changing businesses uh um uh you know uh, literally working out and things like that making those types of renovations so it's a very good card there you also have the five of diamonds which is also a really awesome card for you uh represents a great time to start new things and this has come up for several other signs i've said you know i know that there's a retrograde but sometimes we just have to start things during retrograde sometimes it just happens i've talked about it in videos in the past how you know I've started things during retrogrades that still exist today, um, you know, from years ago. Nothing ever happened. Nothing, no bad retrograde things ever happened. And uh, I've started things uh, during retrogrades that didn't work out. But they taught me extremely valuable lessons or, you know, um, helped me meet somebody I need to meet or something along those lines. So, again, don't be afraid to start things. Also, a very good card for settlements, especially if you're involved in some sort of legal battle or something like that. There could be a settlement reached um, with this card. And uh, this can also represent very good news regarding money and things like that. Money coming in for you, uh, new money opening up for you and things like that. Even if you're, like, thinking about starting a business or you need a loan or something like that you could be getting some news there 
And finally, you have the Queen of Hearts. So Queen of Hearts to me is just a card of opening up to love. It says that you're, you know, especially if you're single, you're finally like truly opening up for it and uh, getting ready for it. So that is nice as well. So there could be a lot of love for you. Uh, again, looks like a good month. Even with the Nine of Spades and the Seven of Spades, they're not necessarily bad cards because, again, they don't represent anything other than thinking about past um, disappointments and things like that. So it actually looks like a good month for you. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your December.